69 deaths from extreme heat in Canada, including elderly and sick people. The heat wave is intensifying in the northwestern regions of the United States and Canada, and according to the authorities, 69 people have died in Canada as a result. According to the French news agency agents AFP, these deaths occurred in Canada's Vancouver province, which is in the grip of extreme heat. According to Canadian police, most of those who died in the suburbs of Vancouver in the past 24 hours were elderly or those with pre-existing health conditions. Other local municipalities say they have been receiving reports of sudden deaths since Monday, but have not yet compiled death tolls. The investigation is ongoing, but it is likely that most of the deaths were caused by the heat, said Canadian Police Corporal Michael Clange. Due to climate change, the temperature has been continuously increasing for the last few years. It is being said that the cause of the heat from the U.S. state of Oregon to the Arctic region of Canada is high-pressure warm winds. British Columbia recorded a temperature of 47.9 degrees Celsius on Monday, according to the U.S. National Weather Service. U.S. cities Portland, Oregon, Seattle, and Washington posted record temperatures for the first time since 1940. Temperatures were recorded at 115 degrees Fahrenheit in Portland and 108 degrees Fahrenheit in Seattle. Pacific Coast Vancouver has been recording 86 degrees Fahrenheit for several days. Temperatures hit 111 degrees Fahrenheit along the Fraser Delta River on Tuesday, according to meteorologists. British Columbia Premier John Horgan said, We are facing the hottest week ever and it is having devastating consequences for families and communities. He said that we can get out of this difficult time together. Those who are most at risk have to be taken care of. We have to make sure the fridge compressors are working properly and we are staying in the coolest part of the house. Environment Canada has issued a warning for British Columbia, Alberta, and other areas, saying this long, historic, and dangerous heat wave will continue this week. The U.S. National Weather Service also issued a similar warning, saying that people should stay in air-conditioned buildings, avoid outdoor activities, drink plenty of water, and take care of family and neighbors.